Hey guys, this is Rise from SC2GG.com. This is about the sixth time that I've tried to do this replay, so uh, don't mind me as I just blow through the area that's been uh, giving me so much issue. I, I hate to do that, to be honest, but it looks like this replay is still broken. No, I think it may actually be working for once. Wow. <laughs> Let's see if we make it through the entire thing this time. Uh, again, I've, been, I've done this replay about seven times and gotten stuck at that mining spot uh, three times, sorry, all seven times at this point. And so uh, it looks to be working, and that means that I can go on and continue the commentary. Awesome. All right. Um, although the Zerg player... Yes, it does look like it's working. All right, all right, let's get to the replay now. Anyway, so a uh, quick intro from me. I am Rise from sc2gg.com, and I, uh, I'm a front-page commentator over there. been commentating for about a year. Uh, a lot of people find me on YouTube. If you wanted to see some of my other videos there, I do plenty of uh, VODs regularly. Uh, you can find me over at youtube.com slash sc2ggrise. Uh, that would be my tag over there. And, uh, yeah, so if not, that's cool, too. Uh, but apparently I'll, I'll be doing at least uh, these two replays of the week. If you do like my uh, commentary style or whatever and like to see me do more of them on uh, GG.net, go ahead and let uh, the staff over there know. Vilda is the one who contacted me in particular who uh, wanted me to do these. So, uh, yeah, just wanted to throw that out there. Anyway, let's get to the match. We have Saga, the Zerg player at the bottom left. They're playing on Blue Storm, of course, playing against Sun Me. Uh, on the, or some knee, let's see if, how, Sun Me, yep, Sun Me, the Terran player on the top right area. Now, I don't know these players that well, uh, fast expansion going down for Sun Me. I don't know these players too well, but if they're in the replay of the week, they must be decent, that's for sure. Um, it looks like, I thought the replay was broken again, but it looks like Sun Me was just a little behind on his supply, so, uh, that's a, uh, that's, that's a relief, actually, because I, I didn't want to have to do all that for an eighth time. This is, like I said, this is probably my eighth time doing this. Um, anyway, it looks like a quick two-hatch build into a lair going for uh, Saga, which uh, leads me to believe that he's going to go for a quick Muta Harass. Um, now, the issue with that is it's somewhat of an... It, it can be an all-in build. It can be very difficult to pull off, and if you don't, you can be very behind on it uh, against the other player. Now, the Terran player going a fast expansion is going to solidify that point because uh, if, if that doesn't if that two-hatch uh, build does not pay off for him, he's going to be so far behind economically, it's going to hurt to watch the game. But, um, you know... Considering it's the replay of the week, I have a feeling that it'll be uh, somewhat successful, I would imagine, and not in entirely all in. Uh, but we'll find out. So, uh, Ling's being built by Saga, and in the meantime, uh, Sun, Sun Me, it's a little difficult to say Sun Me, uh, he's, he's just building up his economy now that he's got the uh, expansion up and running. He's probably going to start going to build some uh, turrets very shortly, as he must have scouted this build. Um, the Spire now going down, yeah, so it is going to be a uh, Muta build for sure, and uh, as well as a second gas, so that's going to be obviously in support of the Spire. Uh, a couple of things to note, Sunmi's APM is listed up here. You can't see the other players because there's so many observers in here. Uh, for some reason, Chaos Launcher, which is used to uh, play this, sorry, record this game. No, play this game uh, uh, for Brood War. Ah, run by. Gonna have to stop me from what I was saying. And, uh, oh man, not working all that great. That run by, uh, a little unsuccessful for Saga. He couldn't seem to make up his mind if he wanted to do a bunker surround the run by and surround the regular Marines. So instead, he, his confusion led to, uh, Sunmi's success here. That could have been a lot more successful, uh, especially if he came up around this side, I, I would think. Uh, of course, he didn't know exactly what was going on back here as he had no vision of that, which means, uh, which is a good thing. It means that he's not hacking, <laughs> so that's good. Uh, Academy going up for Sunmi in the meantime, so we're going to probably see a uh, Medic Marine build. Yeah, there are the Medics building uh, and a probably a fast pressure uh, Medic Marine push, so we'll have to see some Sunkins at some point. Although, uh, we, I don't know if we'll see a third hatchery before that point. Probably not as the Muta are going to be coming out. That was just scanned. Uh, eBay is now building for uh, Sunmi. So Sunmi may actually be a little behind. Let's see where that eBay is. No, the eBay is built with perfect timing here. I must add. Uh, I must add. And uh, turret's going up all over the expansion. So he is going to be well prepared for this. He's uh, not got much money in terms of uh, uh, 
economy for SCV production, but it, he doesn't care because he's so busy just building turrets everywhere, which is probably a good idea because of the uh, nature of the build from Saga being uh, a very fast rushing Muta build, and this will slow him down a lot. Here's the Hireless Den, so we're going to see a transition of tech into uh, Lurker most likely. And now we got a couple of Muta already there scouting out what's going on. He's going to see the fact that there are four turrets at this uh, expansion. So it looks like he's actually going to go make his way to the main base of Sunmi instead, where Sunmi is again prepared, although he's going to try to get around that as best he can. Uh, although, no, uh, he's trying to make up his mind if he wants to try to pick off Marines one by one. Uh, I never seem to really recommend that because of the fact that... Um, Marines are so easily reproduced from the barracks. They're so cheap, it's not much of a loss. Whereas if he can get SCVs, he'll be in really good position to uh, do some economic damage to Sunmi, which, again, with Sunmi having uh, two two uh, bases here, certainly worthwhile to do. Although, it must be mentioned that Sunmi's uh, macro is a little off in terms of SCV production. He's focusing a lot on building units and turrets. So he just hasn't had the money to produce uh, that many SCVs, it would seem. And now that Muta Harass is trying to uh, take out a couple of more Marines, getting a few more there. But again, not all that successful from a, uh economy or, or even uh, a dollar, yeah, a economic standpoint. I mean, if you were to do the... Uh, the ratio of how much those units cost to how much the uh, Muta cost. The fact that he's killed four or five and lost two Muta. Honestly, it doesn't work out for him. It works out in Sunmi's favor. So Sunmi actually probably hoping that the harassment continues, which it is, to go after his uh, Marines. And, and wow, I mean, uh, uh, Saga losing all but, what, three of those Muta? Maybe four? It's hard to tell exactly. I can't obviously click on them. Uh, but those those Muta taking a lot of damage here from that Marine Force, which, by the way, is being upgraded with plus one weapons. That is because, of course, uh, against Muta, it's much more efficient. But the Lurkers, the Lurkers are going to uh, be the equalizer here. Very nice tech switch, I must add, especially off the two hatches to go Lurkers. Um, certainly, he's not prepared. Uh, Sun Sunmi is not prepared yet for Lurkers. Uh, although, I wish he did some whole Lurkers to stop that... Um, SCV from scouting it. So now, scan going down, he's going to see the fact that there are lurkers there and out on the field, and he's going to be a lot more careful before he moves out. And that bunker is going to make it very difficult for those lurkers to be effective, although very nice attack of uh, three unit types of Lings, Muta, and Lurker going to take out that, uh, that bunker. Wow, so those lurkers uh, under the cover of Muta and Lings doing a lot of good damage here. If they can get to the turrets, that'll really help. But they're going to try to take out the commsat station first, although that commsat about to run out anyway. And, oh, deciding to move back at the last second. Uh, I'm not sure that was in, uh, it was necessarily a good idea, especially with four lurker against such a paltry force of marines. He's got to watch the positioning. There he goes. He, he fixes that up uh, real quick and sends one towards the... Uh, the turret area, actually, and this is what he needs to be doing. This is great. This is very good play, disrupting the economy, finally, of Sunmi before Sunmi can do any more damage. He's going to be forced to lift that command center off. More units streaming in from behind. More lurkers being morphed uh, to support this effort. And now we're going to see, uh, we should see science vessel come out shortly. We do see a tank with siege mode. Um, that comsat is very low on energy, not enough. That turret's going to be there to, to handle vision of the uh, lurkers and that last turret going to go down as well as I'm guessing that SCV at some point. So very nicely done so far by uh, by Saga. Saga now backing off now that he sees the uh, siege tanks are there and he's just going to continue to basically delay this expansion from ever going up. Uh, let's see if we see any Evo chambers here. Nothing quite yet. No third hatchery going up now for him. Uh, as wow, a lot more lurkers here. So. Saga actually has a lot of uh, gas and can produce quite a few lurkers at this point as he stopped complete production of those um, uh, Muta at this point. So he's got to be a little careful though here. He's uh, he's going to lose a couple of overlords that are hanging out where they should not be hanging out. All these lurkers are going to uh, help. And uh, if he can continue this uh, high pressure surround, he could be in pretty good uh, position to really do a lot of damage to Sunmi at this point. Sunmi, of course, still only on the one expansion, uh, but really against the uh, low uh, mineral saturation that we have here for the Zerg player, it's not all that bad. But you can see that at this point, wow, a lot of overlords morphing for Saga at once. He's in uh, the red, of course, and he's trying to 
keep out of the red and get ahead. So he's making a ton of overlords. He's probably going to go to more of a macro-based game at this point. Uh, wow, damaging that command center worth about two lurkers. Uh, I thought he might have three. He's going to have to try to get some SCVs there to repair it ASAP. Uh, or actually, he's going to have to lift off. So these lurkers continuing to really slow down the uh, uh, production. I'm sorry, the uh, mining for Sunmi. So Sunmi now at this point, oh, having a little bit of difficulty. The one tank not really able to take out any lurkers here. He's probably very low on concept still. Yeah, he's waiting. He's now got to be making a science. He's got to hurry up on building the science spells. He's got plenty of gas. He needs to be on top of that if he's going to get back into this game because at this point, he's waiting purely for one concept station to regen 50 magic over and over and over. He does have the supply. I don't know why he's not pushing that more. Uh, that's certainly his highest priority at this point is getting out a science vessel. 